Welcome to lesson two of our five-part series of self-defense. Last lesson, we looked at spatial awareness and how to protect ourselves from getting involved in a dangerous situation. This lesson, we'll look at how to actually defend against a dangerous situation if it occurs. Once we realize that we're in a potentially dangerous situation, the first thing we need to do is get into our stance. So Ashley is gonna put her non-dominant foot forward, roughly one step behind her back leg. In this position, Ash can lean forward and lean back without being off balance. Next of all, since our attacker is throwing punches at Ash, the first thing we need to do is defend ourselves. So we'll put our dominant hand on our forehead and non-dominant hand over the top, exactly like so. While our attacker is throwing punches, Ash is gonna pull her elbows together, looking through the tiny gap between her hands. If our attacker decides to throw low punches as in an uppercut, we simply drop our elbows underneath to protect ourselves from an upcoming punch. If our attacker tries to throw punches to the side of our head, we simply slide our hands from side to side and the other side to block those incoming punches. Always coming back to that front stage, looking through the gap. While well, our first reaction to a dangerous situation would be to avoid the situation altogether, sometimes it's unavoidable. So using these defensive techniques will give us the best chance to get out. Join us next week where we'll look at attacking and changing the tables on our aggressor.